Hey guys, Bushcraft Family here today again with Morning Talk. And I thought um, a couple weeks ago I, I made a, a video of mistakes preppers make when they're prepping. Um, pretty easy, normal mistakes that, that are made. Um, so with the garden seasoning coming, a lot of preppers are going to put out gardens this year um, and a lot of them are going to be making mistakes it's it's just just normal it's it's how we learn um, but still go out and do this um, it's a must um, it saves money for your preps and stuff you can put a lot of stuff back there's there's ton of ton of pluses on on this but uh, I figure I go over some things that people will fail at and this is beginning gardeners even gardeners that have been doing it for years will fail at some of this stuff so i thought i'd come up with a list and here we go um now they're not in no good to bad or anything like that just 10 that i just randomly came up with and um the majority of these i got from a facebook group i'm in and I noticed last year and beginning of this year, people were asking questions and saying they've had problems with and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, that's that's where I base my my questions or my problems, I guess. <laughs> Let's get along to it. Um, number one, they go too big um, and they don't, uh, address the soil basically they just go out there and start digging digging a garden up and um, they turn the soil and they're they think they're all all good and all good to go and whatnot and then they end up with puny little plants or something like that um, just because your grass grows like crazy on on that that soil doesn't mean your plants are some plants need more nutrients and stuff like that and you need to address it before you do your planting um, there's there's multiple things there's manure there's different compost there there's numerous things and I, I suggest before jumping into it um, have your soil tested and see what it's lacking and stuff like that and um, you can get these t testers you can just stick in the ground and it basically tells the pH and all that stuff and um, or you can you can actually go and get it tested but um, that's number one number two is plant things out of season um, you gotta know know your seasons um, when stuff like um, you can't go and plant some things in the spring when they're supposed to be planted in the fall. Um, it's just just one of those things. Um, so know, read your, your packets and know when it's supposed to be, um, when, when they do best in. Um, number three, uh, watering. Uh, fell to water properly um, some people over water I'll see people out there with the they'll hook up a sprinkler and let it run run for hours uh, after it just got done raining uh, a couple days ago um, you gotta know some plants thrive on just little water some you need extra water so again you gotta know know your plants um, and it has to do with soil too, so um, good good to study up on that. Number four, is it four? Yeah, number four. Um, they put they don't feed their soil. Basically, they they go and put their plants, seedlings, or whatever in the in the soil, and that's it. They just wait for the the bounty of food to come out and 
they need fed. Um, it's just one of those things. There's fertilizer. There's different things. Eggshells. There's there's tons of stuff that you can um, to to feed your plants with. Um, number five, pr procrastination. If I can say it out right, um, yeah, it's all springtime comes. Everybody's out there, yay! Then a month comes and you go out there and you have weeds. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, weeds and weeds. And then you start just letting the garden go. And then pretty soon you don't have any garden left. You have a weed bed. And the weeds will take over over the garden. Uh, number six, uh, plant things that you don't like uh i've seen a lot of this uh that somebody doesn't like zucchini or stuff and they they plant like 10 plants and they're they're like coming out of their ears and nobody eats it in the house it's it's a waste waste of space where you can put something else in that that spot so just because it it looks it'll look pretty in your garden and whatnot put plant stuff that you're going to need um Number seven, knowing your growing zones. Every place has its own growing zone. Um, and it's very easy. Just type in Google, um, what's my growing zone for said city or town, wherever you're at. And it'll tell you. And that way you know when your, se your, your peak season is, when it starts and stuff. Um, a lot of times people will plant too early and frost will just knock everything out. Uh, there's always a chance of frost coming, even knowing your, your, your zone or whatnot. Or they plant stuff too late and then it, it just doesn't have time to properly uh, produce your, your produce. Uh, okay, what was the next one? Uh, number eight, uh, plant spacing and depth. Depth. My mouth is dry. Um, a lot of times people try to cram more in a, a row than needs to be, or they'll space it way out to where they're just wasting space. Um, another thing is they plant the seeds way too deep. Um, most of the time, uh, the back of the seed packet, it'll tell you how, how far to, to, uh, bury that seed. And sometimes, like I said, if you plant it too deep, um, it takes longer for it to come up. And sometimes it'll just rot before it does make it to the top. Um, it only has so much time to get to sunlight before it'll just die off. So know know that stuff. Um, a lot of a lot of information is back of the seed pack, like Haas tools. They have so much information on the back of their packets. That's one reason I like like their uh, their seeds. Um, number nine, pest management. Yep, there's a lot of pests. Um, there are certain like flowers. There's different plants you can plant by your other plants that keep said. Um, pest away um, sometimes there there are um, pesticides to use I do not like that I rather use um, home remedies and stuff like um, you can even use Dawn's soap dish dishwasher vinegar and stuff like that there's different things you can use to deter the little pests um, and there goes the cats playing with the box over there Sorry about the cats again. <laughs> Number 10, not growing uh, pollinators. Um, a lot of things you need, to, you need to be pollinated. So um, if bees don't come around, they don't get pollinated and you don't, you can, don't get anything. Um, so you, the more bees you can have in your garden, the better. So I suggest um, planting flowers. Hey!
Get out of the box. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I suggest growing flowers. Um, mums is a real good one. There's there's different different flowers that you can plant that will draw in bees and also deter other animals from um, coming around your garden and stuff like that. So um, read up on the flowers that you can plant around your garden. Um, this year, I'll probably end up just getting these little pots and planting a lot of flowers just all around and just setting them out there. Um, it'll be fast and easy um, way to get them bees coming. Um, I didn't ha I didn't have a problem with bees because I did have a beehive in my tree. But the windstorm we had last year took care of the beehive, unfortunately. So they're all gone. So hopefully this year I can draw in more bees from flowers and whatnot. Well, that's it, guys. Um, hopefully some of these... Um, some of these uh, will help. Uh, some may know, know more out there. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot more pe that people fell at doing, doing this. I'll probably do a lot of felling this year, but that's how we learn. Um, so, if you guys know of anything, um, tips and stuff, please, please go ahead and comment down below. Because a lot of other people read the comments and they can learn off of your experience because there's there's a lot more knowledgeable people out there in gardening than me. Um, I just know the basics of growing uh, tomato plants and peppers and stuff like that. There's so much stuff. Um, what you plant next to each other and um, if you plant things that don't go together next to each other, it, it'll ruin both of those things. So... There's a lot of knowledge out there, so um, please post down below. Um, all that stuff is welcome. Until next time, guys, um, please like, share, comment, all that stuff, and subscribe. Until next time, God bless.